thousand. We bought a lot uh, right here where our SIP house sits. Having been through Hurricane Camille in 1969 as a teenager in Pass Christian, we bought a lot in a high area of Pass Christian, even though it's pretty close to the Gulf. My husband and I uh, wanted to build our dream home, and uh, we watch this old house classics all the time. And on one of their shows, they used some SIP walls. And we decided at that time that made a lot of sense and uh, we would probably want to do that kind of construction. Then along came Hurricane Katrina, which was a devastating hurricane here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And it hit right when we were in the process of getting ready to move over here and start building our house. And that really reinforced our decision to build a structural insulated panel house. Once everything was all set with the plans, in four or five weeks, the panels were done. Uh, we had had our foundation done in the meantime, and uh, it was it was just so thrilling when the trucks came down here to deliver the panels and we watched the guys put this size house together in about a week. I mean the whole structure, you know, it was just amazing. Uh, and we are absolutely thrilled with the house. One of the things that was uh, that made us feel good about building a SIP house here after Hurricane Katrina is that uh, this house is engineered, our house is engineered to withstand 140 mile an hour winds. So that makes us feel pretty safe in a hurricane zone. Another huge benefit to us is that the upstairs, which would normally just be an attic space with all your trusses and knee walls in the way and everything, is free space. We could put huge rooms up here, and we, we are. Our air conditioning guy talked to the SIPS people. He actually went to some classes on it. We ended up with a three-ton central air and heat unit that beautifully air conditions and heats this house. Um, and while our friends with houses half this size were paying four and five hundred dollars for air conditioning last summer, we were keeping this house comfortably cool and paying no more than $194 a month for the air conditioning bill, which is tremendous savings. We, we just love it. I don't see why anybody would build any other kind of house.